Welcome to Strategy Battle Gamers to another Battle Companies video. You're here with GBHL channel host, GBHL James. And GBHL Jamie. And we are now following the... Goblins, or the Giblins. The Giblins. This is the Goblin Warband that, wow, they got, went into Rohan. Got the, some asses handed to them and mm. gave it right back. They really did. And uh, that Rohan village... Burnt to the ground. Burnt to the ground. So some some real nasty stuff caused there by the goblins now we're going to rejoin the goblins now yeah and uh, what has happened well since they burned down a village and sort of the smoke billowed above rohan it's attracted obviously plunderers and in this one it's a band of orcs has come along with the intention to sort of take the easy plunder yeah they've seen the, they've, they've smelt blood they are the vultures and they're uh, they're swarming in and they're going to try and steal the plunder of the goblins we're going to show you the table now the giblin goblins <laughs> We show you the table now and tell you a little bit more about this scenario. So the companies are trying to fend off their enemies while combining the battlefield, or combing the battlefield, should I say, sorry, for hidden treasure. They'll try to control as many tokens at the end of the battle as possible, and to claim a token, a company must have at least one warrior within a three inch radius of a token, and no enemies within the same distance. If both companies have models within a three inches of a token, the token is considered contested, and neither side may claim it. Once one company's been reduced to 50% of its starting numbers, begin rolling a die at the end of each turn. If the result is ever a 1, the game ends immediately. At the end of the game, one of the players should roll a d6, and whichever company controls the token with that number associated to it is considered to have recovered the treasure and won the game. If it's a contested token, or is not claimed by either company, then the result is a draw. So, we've got the goblins who have deployed 3 inches on that side of the battlefield, and we've got the orc scavengers on this side of the battlefield. With that, we're going to go into turn one and see what happens. And here's how it's looking after movement. So the orcs got priority and just moved up here, trying to claim the centre of the battlefield and also keep an eye on that objective. In the meantime, these orcs here, they stayed by that objective there just to see what was happening. So they could take a couple of pot shots as the goblin, giblin, giblin, goblins moved up. Some of the archers shuffled around and they had a shot and actually managed to kill one of the orcs at the front. And who was that? That was Bingo. Bingil, so Bingil gains a point of XP, but all of the other shots were missing um, from Nymad. And Giblin's moved up there. With that, we're going to go into the next turn. And here's how it's looking after at that turn. So during that turn, the Orcs moved up, and the Spectre managed to get the World Marauder away from the center of the battlefield. But in response, the Goblins managed to kill off another Orc from the front rank there. So this is how it's looking at the end of that turn. We're gonna go into the next turn now. So here's the battlefield after that turn. The Prowler moved up and the Orcs, or well, two of them, the Captain and one of the Spearmen decided to come up and challenge the Prowler. What's the Prowler called? Uh, it is that was Nibleg, wasn't it? Yeah. Nibleg. Uh, in the meantime, some more archery heroics took down the Spectre, but not after he tried to get that one Marauder in so these guys could surround him and the Marauder, Neymad, <laughs> Neymad uh, actually passed his courage test, but these orcs, they're going after them. This orc here is going around the back of those giblins uh, there to try and get that objective. In the meantime, one of these goblin bowmen, both of which moved up half, managed to take out the game. Bilnig. Bilnig. So Bilnig has gone down, hopefully never to return. <laughs> That's the end of that turn. We're going to go into the next turn now. This is the battlefield. Now I call two heroic moves with the Orcs, so we can get the charge on the World Marauder over here. Uh, the Captain, with using a will point, did manage to get the charge and has been backed up by the spear. And then these guys, they didn't charge the World Marauder, they just thought they'd protect the flank there. Didn't want to fail the courage test. <laughs> uh, with all this courage too. Giblin charged in, the hero that he is. In the hero, meantime... Hero in inverted commas. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's he, he's a bit of a hero. He didn't run away against Rohan. In the meantime, this warg moved back here to protect the prize, and that's because a sneaky orc is coming around the back of the building. Uh, goblins moved up here, an effective shooting all round. In the meantime, these goblins here have made a... I don't know why I keep calling it. These are orc bowmen, not goblin archers. Uh, these guys are coming for that middle objective. And over here with the other heroic move, this was just to get the captain and the spearman on Nibblig, the prowler. We're going to go into those combats now. So we've got the Moran and Orc captain and we've got the supporting orc spearman. And uh, what fight value is the prowler? Three. So he's fight three as well. He's royal fight three, yeah. And the Moran and Orc captain's fight three? Yeah. Wow, okay. So no fighting from left tenant. Left tenant. You've got a max anyway. 
He does have an axe. He does have an axe. Anyway, so we're going to go for this combat now. What does Nibbler get? A one. One double one. That's oh, right. Damn right. right, the cheating red dice. Uh, fives all round. So we need fives all round. Oh, oh, and we get the five. So he goes down. Yeah. He goes down. And that's the first casualty in close combat there. So next up, we'll go for... Warp Marauder. Warp Marauder. So we've got the... What fight value? Three. Same as you. So we're, we're the same fight value. Uh, we will... We'll, what defense are you? Five. Yeah. One strength. Four. Four. I'm going to piercing strike. Yeah. Oh, risky. <laughs> Cheating red dice, where is it? I've got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> okay, black is going front. Oh no, five. Oh, we get a five. Equal so five. it's a roll off now. It was your priority. It was yeah. goblin priority. So one. Goblins are good in this. In yeah. This, yeah, we're following so the goblins. One, two, three. The orcs. Four, five, six. Goblins, come on! Yes. And the Morda gets it. So he goes down to defense. Oh, oh three, four. Defense three. So forced to kill him. He did. <laughs> and he goes down. Do very much into the dead pile. The orcs aren't too far off breaking already. Two more. So next up we've got... Giblin, uh, the great Giblin. I'm going to piercing strike with the orc in front. <laughs> I'm a lot of fat on you anyway, so I will faint. It's your fainting. I'm piercing striking with the black dice. Well, that matters right now. What does Giblin get? Giblin! It's a five. That's a five. Oh, and there's a six when you're piercing point strike. Point. So let's see. He goes up. By two to five, so fours from the black dice. Fours from the black dice, fives from the blue dice. So first fake point. He's got two fake points somehow. He, he passes it, he's absolutely fine. So this is now a bit worrying for the orc band. And we're gonna go into the next turn priority. This could be key. Four is a good result. And it's better than one. It goes to the goblins. And this is the battlefield after Goblin Priority. So Naimad, the Marauder, charged in on the two orcs there. Giblin went round towards that objective. He's a treasure hunter. While the Warlock came forward and managed to charge that orc there, stopping them sneaking around the back of the building. This orc bowman had a pop shot, was unsuccessful, as did the Goblin Archers over here. We were just out of range with the orc guys here, didn't want to charge and get knocked down by the charging one more. We probably killed them all in one go. <laughs> uh, and in the meantime, the orcs came over here, while the goblins just made sure they were just out of reach. So we are going to go into the combats. One more right. Let's start off with that one. So I'm going to piercing strike yep. <laughs> with um, with the one of them. With the orc, yeah. I get the six. Six. So we need the six to equal this. Come on, Omen Games dice! Yeah. Then. And we get it. So on a one to three, it's the orcs. The orcs get it. Goes to the orcs. Now they needed that. So the piercing strike goes up to five. So fours from that one. So fours from this dice yep. and fives from the black dice. Oh. So you got two wounds left. So he's down to two wounds. Wow. That was quite important. <laughs> so then, next up, we've got the Warg versus Wom. Go on, Warg! Yeah. Warg gets the six. Orc gets the five. Not good enough. Is it an orc with shield? Yeah. So fives. Oh, oh, and Warg does it. And this is Scald, is it? Uh, burn. This is Burn. And that Orc has been burned. Yeah. And with that, we're going to go into the next turn priority. Yes, yeah. Are the orcs broken yet? Yeah, one off broken. One off broken. In their force. Let's see what happens. And he goes to the giblins. The giblins. And the battle intensifies as these two evil warbands scrap for the remains of this burnt Rohan village. So the war marauder charged in on the two orcs over there. Uh, the goblins charged for this central objective. They have been countercharged by the orcs. A couple of unsuccessful shots from the war marauder and the goblin archers. Meanwhile, Burn, still blood pouring from his gaping maws, is charging or coming round, smelling blood of this lone orc. Archer. We're going to go to the combats now, and we're going to start off with Naimad versus Piercing Striking Orc and Normal Orc. Oh, five. Five. There is a chance. Oh, no. And they get it with the six. Oh, so, so, 
Well, it would balance a few <laughs> things so that you don't need to anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, so the piercing strike goes up to... Uh, six, so fours. So fours for that dice. Fives on the other. And fives on the black dice. If we get this, the Marauder dies. No. No. <laughs> we built that up too much. So, Naimad survives. We Naimad survives. So next up we're going to go into these combats. Yep. And how do these split off? We've got... Do a two on two that way. We've got two on two. Um, yep, yeah, okay. No uh, difference from us. Uh, let's go, so you're fainting. Five. Oh, and you win it. So the hero up front. Uh, so, no big. We'll strike him. He's striking the archer. So he's got point might, so he needs fives. No. Nope. And the support will strike, the, will strike your support. Or your spearman. No. So, okay. So they just move away. And next up, we've got the captain with Orc, Spearman against Gib Gilbin, Gilbin and Lingib the second. Uh, I'll fight. Okay. And. Yeah. Oh, I'm not doing I'll get the more. So, so, so we win that. Okay. So, needing fives. He's fine, he doesn't have that point of mind. So, this is how it's looking. And uh, the orc band isn't broken yet, but they're still one off. So, we're going to go into next turn priority. Giblins again. Goes to the Giblins. And we're going to see what happens now. So, the Goblins rush on again and burn the wag. Charges in on the orc archer, trapping him against the burnt wagon. In the centre of the battlefield, it's looking mighty intense again. Goblins rushing in on the Orcs. Lots of one-on-ones and two-on-twos there. And Naimad, who's not been performing amazingly not, in this not, battle. Not like a warg should. Warg not as a war mother should. Uh, again, he's charged in. He should kill those two. Uh, there was no shooting, so we're going to go straight to the combats. And should we see how Naimad gets on? Let's go, Naimad! We're pulsing strike again. Fight normal. Get a five. You get a five highest. Not good enough. Yeah. Oh, we oh. get the five. I need a mic point. One, two, three, the orcs. Four, five, six, the goblins. Oh, no. Goes to the orcs again. Piercing strike goes up. Fours from the piercing strike. So let's do it again. Fours from the blue dice and fives. From the black. We're going to do that the other way around. Because yeah. <laughs> it's not been working for us so far. No, he's alive. Let's have a look. No, oh, it's fine. So Wald survives again. He's going to roll these dice. Next up, we'll go for Big Nil versus Orc Spearman. It's a one on one. Go, Big, go, Nil, Big, Nil. Big Nil gets a one so and he loses. So we could have done with waitings. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Big Nil. It goes down. Oh dear. Not good. Not good. Uh, Next up. Captain on your orc. I'm going to faint. This one here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so fainting. Two. Get a two. The orc gets a one. Uh, so fives. fives. Point of might. And he uses a point of might to break the orc. So the orc bound is broken. Nilbig. And Nilbig gains some XP. Next up, we're going to have the piercing striking orc captain and a spearman versus the. Like fainting sergeant. You get the six, five, and a six. Five now, no points of might there. So the no. captain goes down to goes down by one. So five. So the support will strike your captain. And fives. No. Nope. Nope. And the sergeant will strike the orc spearman. Yes. So the orc spearman goes down, and suddenly the gibbling goblins are all over this. So next up, we've got the orc archer against burn the warg. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. You get it. Fives. So I need fives. Oh, he's fine. And he survives. So with that, that's how the Rohan village is looking. Does it go ahead? Roll the one. Now the game continues. Game continues. We're going to go into priority. You're rubbish at rolling dice, man. Small table. Oh, go. and it goes to the orcs. Oh. So this is how it's looking. And although the orcs got priority, they failed an awful lot of courage tests. So the orc archer ran away from this objective, leading burn to sniff out his prize. This 
or Kia did manage to stick around, uh, but he was charged by Neymar, the mighty marauder. Um, mighty. Yeah. Well, yeah, it sounds good. Uh, in the meantime, this orc ran away. This one's the Giblins all sort of got into positions. Giblins on his objective there. Lots and lots of treasure, we're thinking, for the goblins. And these two orcs ran away. We're going to go into the one combat, which is this spearman against Gilbin these. Gilbin's faint. So Gilbin's fainting. The one marauder. Does it terribly. Four ones. The other two. We get five. five. Don't you do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Five? <laughs> no, six. A six. Right, okay. Element games, guys! Oh! oh! So you win. Wow. So if the game ends, then... Okay, so we're going to go for one of the goblins here. We're going to go for... Spearman? We're going to go for Gilbin. Gilbin? We're going to go for this Gilbin. Huh? Okay. I'm going to go for Gilbin. Gilbin. Yeah. Got a roll, guys. <laughs> Be good if I get him out of the game. No, uh, I'll go for Lingib the second. No. 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 Uh, and with that, that the game does the game end? So on a one or a two, is it? On a one. On a one, the game it's ends. It's not always on a one. No. no. It's a two. So we go for priority. I got it. And it goes to the Giblins again. Let's see what happens. So most of the orcs have run away from the mighty Giblins, goblins. Um, however, this orc here has not been allowed to. Neymad wants revenge. Lingib and Gilbin have charged in. Can they do better this time? Let's see what happens. The sergeant will faint. You get a six. You do get a six. Now, element games, dice! No. No. So it looks like it's going to be end. I'm guessing you want your... Um, I would like... Lingib to try. So Lingib is going to go first. Moment, so. Yeah. Lingib gets it and gets that point. And with that, does the game end automatically? Uh, well, you got your one here, so. We've got one here, so let's. Is the game end? No. Uh, priority. Let's, priority. I get it. I'll I'm guessing it. you'll stay where you are. Yep. So courage tests. He fails. He runs off. And he's off the board. And with that, Giblin's Goblins. Treasure! Dominate the Rohan burnt village, and they take the treasure. So we're going to see what they get with this treasure now. Oh no, it's just it's just an just objective. Treasure. It's just an objective. Yeah. So they don't actually win any gold. Don't win Phew! Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't need it. To six gold now, though. We're going to go and we're going to see how these guys advance now. So we're starting off with the casualties, and we're going to go for the prowler first, Niblig. Niblig. What happens to him? He dies. Niblick yeah. is dying. That Damn was a it. good decision to go after him. Bilnig? <laughs> uh, Bilnig, the archer. Live. Yeah, he's fine for he this game. And he actually comes into the next game, doesn't he? Does. Yeah. Okay. And then Big Nil. Big Nil. He lives. He lives and he's in for the next game as well. So we're going to go into the warrior advancements next. My goblins advancements, both Bilnig and Bingil will become prowlers with bow. And Gilbin and Giblin have both uh, both enough XP to roll on the hero advancement table. So we're going to do that now for Giblin, first of all. A six. I can gain a point of might or a point of will. Definitely going to gain a point of might with him. And then Gilbin gains a five, so I can gain a special rule. I'm going to roll again on the fighting, shooting, or leadership. Um, I will roll in the fighting special rules. Three. That's parry. I may force my opponent to re-roll a single dice to determine who wins the fight. That's grim. That's great! Rolling for my... Oh, I got six gold now, so rolling for the first reinforcement roll. I got a six, so I roll on the elite reinforcement table. And a three. I've gained a giant spider. Oh, God. Next reinforcement roll. A one, no reinforcements. Yeah, that equals it out. <laughs> so, welcome to Round the Campfire, post that battle company's game. Wow. The goblins. How's that that they walked over that? I thought that was going to be much harder for them. Yeah, they were. They, they smashed the orcs. Three three dead to shoot and he's building the spectre though. Yeah, it made a, made a big, big, big difference. Yeah. So those orc scavengers were fended off. Not just fended off, but were smashed. And some good advancements for you. Yeah, so the great giblins now have two points of might and two points of fate. Yes. Um, and Gilbin has gained swift parry, so I can force my opponent to re-roll a dice if it determines who wins the fight. Wow. Wow, that's pretty good, pretty good. So it'll be interesting to see what the Giblin Goblins get up to in their next 
episode of Battle Companies. The next one will be following the Dwarf Zone. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Make sure you comment, like, share and subscribe. Support your hobby hobby. And happy strategy battle gaming.